Hey guys, Ginger here. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you guys my March TBR. I've already filmed this and then I completely changed what I was reading for the month uh, on the 29th. So we're back. We're filming a new one and so I am excited to talk about my reading plans again. Let's get into talking about the books. Uh, so the first book on my TBR is an advanced reader copy I received recently and that is Good Boy My Life and Seven Dogs by Jennifer Finney Bolin and this is a memoir and it's not a very long book but I if you watched my bookshelf tour you will know that I have a whole shelf dedicated to like animal books and people talking about animals and that kind of stuff so this is right up my alley I sent a request out for it for it and Celadon very kindly sent me a copy so I am going to be reading this and I think it should take me not very long at all to get to it so that is exciting and then the other arc that I would like to get to. Uh, it's a little late because it came out in February, uh, but it you'll see why I, I put it off. Uh, is one that I was really hyped for, but now I'm hearing not so great things about it, so now I'm worried. But that is The Unspoken Name by, oh gosh, A.K. Larkwood. And as you can see, this copy is water damaged. I ended up getting this in the mail on a night that a snowstorm, or on the day that a snowstorm happened and I didn't get home till after work at 11. And so I didn't even know it was there till the day after. And long story short, this got wet and then frozen and very badly water damaged. It is still readable, if not just warped and whatnot. Uh, but this is a, I think a YA, possibly an adult fantasy novel about an orc priestess so like we have a very interesting main character but I have heard a few not so good things about it so I'm worried I've heard that it's kind of boring uh, so this one did come out in February but I would like to try to read it this month since I did get it kindly from the publishers but I am a little worried that it's not going to be great so that is the other uh, arc that came out in 2020 that I'm going to read and then the rest of the books that I have for sure on my uh, reading plans are sort of a part of the backlist readathon, sort of a challenge to myself. And I was going to do a secret TBR this month, but I'm figuring I'll just tell you what the books are now and I will still vlog my experience uh, reading them, whether it be for the week of backlist readathon or just now to the end of that. Uh, so I actually have six books here that I really would like to read this month and they are all art backlist arcs that I received that I never got around to so it's kind of my own little version of reading backlist books because uh, they are all specifically ones that I received for review in years past that I just didn't get around to in time for the release date so in order to get my arc shelf completely filled with red books. I am going to be working on these ones this month to try to do that. So I do have them worked into prompts for the backlist readathon but I'm still unsure if I'm participating officially or not so I would just tell you what they would fit in for if I do participate and when they were released and a little bit about what they are about. So the oldest one on here is The Hidden Light of Northern Fires by Darren Wong. And this one would be for the intimidating one because this is a historical fiction which takes place during the Civil War. And I have been getting more into historical fiction, but it's still a genre that I'm not completely comfortable with. So this one is a little intimidating and this one would probably also, uh, of these books, classify as my shortest backlist. So yeah, I am intimidated by this and this is... This one came out in 2017, in August of 2017, so this one is the oldest one that I have that is backlist as well. But it's pretty much because of the intimidation that I haven't picked it up yet, and so I don't know much more about it other than what I told you, but I am excited to give it a try. The next book I would probably say is the one I'm most excited for, only because I have read another one of this author's works, and that is How to Walk Away by Catherine Center. I also received her 
uh, not her newest book, she has another one coming out, but her one from 2019, which was, uh, which was Things You Save in a Fire, and so this was her first one, and I received it in May of, well, it came out in May of 2018, and I just never got around to it, and I feel really bad, but this is a contemporary, and contemporary is, again, a book that genre that I'm not necessarily comfortable with but I have read one of her other books and I gave it a four so I'm excited to see if I like this one as well. This is her debut and the cover is just pretty and uh, I again I'm not entirely sure what this is about but I do know it is a contemporary and I'm excited to see if I like it. Then we have a backlist fantasy that I don't really get that many fantasies as arcs because uh, a lot of the ones that tend to come up in the emails that I get are thrillers and so I end up getting more of those but this one was a fantasy that I got and it is Song of Blood and Stone by L. Penelope and this came out again in May of 2018 as well. This is actually does not have good ratings on Goodreads so I'm a little nervous and I this one was for the diverse one because this is written by a person of color and has a person of color as a main character. So I think that's really cool since it is a fantasy and this is a YA fantasy and it is a part of a series that I have not again heard much about. This isn't supposed to be that good according to Goodreads but uh, it's been on my shelves for a while and I haven't gotten rid of it because it is a fantasy and I'm interested. So it's on my TBR for the month and I'm nervous excited to see what I think of it. And then the last three are versions of thrillers slash mysteries that I need to get to that came out in 2018 as well. The first one is The Anomaly by Michael Rutger and this came out in June of 2018. Again, not, I don't know much about this, but on the back it says if Indiana Jones lived in the X-Files era. So I'm, I'm getting like adventurous, sciencey thriller, not too sure. But at the time, I thought this sounded good and I requested a copy. So I don't know much about it, but it needs to be read. So it's on the TBR. Then we have The Real Michael Swan by Brian Reardon. And I believe this is more of a uh, crime thriller. So I think that there is a police detective. No, I'm wrong. This is about Michael Swan's wife. Okay, I, I've been wrong about this. This also came out in June of 2018. And this is, again, another thriller. And this would be for the blue cover challenge if I do that. And, yeah, a lot of the thrillers, I've just been like, that's a thriller. I'm going to pick it up. Uh, in years past, I've been a lot more conscientious about that. But, again, another one I need to get to because it's a backlist book. And then the last backlist book would be one that is... Uh, technically a recommendation because I know that Zoe reads it was one of her favorites of 2019 so that's pretty good and this is the most recent backlist that I have this one came out in July of 2018 and that is Baby Teeth by Zoe Sage and this one is a thriller that is about a daughter who's kind of a psychopath I believe and that sounds intriguing to me so I think it's cool how like the lollipop is broken and there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of the art covers that I get are really cool. And I've been, I don't know why I've been putting this one off. It's, this is probably the one that's also been intriguing me the most, but I don't know. I just haven't picked it up. There's a part of me that's just guilty that I haven't picked these arcs up yet. And so I think that's, again, part of the reason why I haven't. But that's why this month I am making it a priority for me to get cracking down on these books that I haven't read yet that were sent to me in the past years that I need to get to. So if I have time, I am also going to probably pick up another fantasy because I've been reading a lot of thrillers and contemporary and I need me some fantasy novels, but I don't know what that's going to be yet. I'm also participating in the Royal Weekender for the bookie trials at the end of the month and I'll be posting a little separate video talking about my TBR for that weekend. It's probably only going to be one or two books, but I have not picked them out yet. So that is the reason I'll have a separate TBR for that. But I am super excited for that readathon as well, which means I will probably have about nine to 10 books on my TBR, which considering I read nine books in February, I definitely think I can do it. I just got to crack down, get the whip rolling and uh, read them. 
So there you have it guys. Those are the books that I plan to read in March. Let me know in the comments below if you are participating in any of the readathons I mentioned or if you would like to buddy read any of the books that I showed you guys. Uh, a few of these I know probably have been a little popular. Some of them I have not. I'm really excited to get to all of these and hopefully find a few favorites. I actually have not had a five star read yet this year so that would be nice if I could get one because <laughs> Uh, we've just had more bad books than good so you know just gotta find some so thank you guys so so much for watching let me know in the comments below what you guys are reading in March I would love to hear if you liked this video please give it a like hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video bye